It isn't always about the money. What makes people decide to join a network marketing company? To some people, it's about how much money they can make, and how quickly they can make it. You can recognize them easily, they are the ones who start a Twitter account, or Facebook, or any other social page, and immediately start blasting you with their new opportunity. The result is that you turn them off or unfriend them, or whatever it takes, to shut them up. I classify these people as the Gordon Gecko, Greed is Good, fan club. People get involved in network marketing for a lot of different reasons. Some want to be part of something, they like the social aspect of being part of a team, perhaps they want to improve their leadership skills, or increase their knowledge of network marketing. IT really isn't always just about the money. Of course, we all like to have money and if you can be part of something you enjoy, and make an income from it, all the better duh. If you have looked and researched, and decided that network marketing is something you really do want to be involved in, then there are same basic facts you should look at. Firstly, what is marketing? When I studied for a diploma in marketing, long before the advent of the internet, I had to study a swag of subjects including market research, psychology, sales management, communication, and public relations. So when you select a product or an organization you want to team up with, you are hopefully investing with an organization that has all of these areas well and truly covered. Marketing doesn't just mean selling, selling is a complete subject and one which you need to become proficient in. Selling as a profession is a subject that hundreds of books have been written on. Whether you are selling face-to-face -face or using the internet, I recommend you start reading some of these right now. What motivates people to buy a product? Again, it isn't always about the money, we don't always buy the least expensive product, we buy the one we choose, because, 1. You felt trust in the specific product from experience. It may be a product that you have used personally before. 2. The advertising has convinced you that this is the best on the market. 3. You are impressed with the uniqueness of the product and want to be the first to try it. 4. Somebody you know and trust has recommended it to you. 5. The person presenting the product to you has established a rapport with you and you trust them. The above are just a few of the possible motivations that exist for making a decision to purchase and of those listed, number 5 will always be the one that works the best. Nothing compares to personal service. In my working life I sold many fine products, and have been able to call back on the same customers to offer a new product, and in many cases received orders from them. I've had some call me to ask my opinion on a product I wasn't associated with, all because of trust. A few of my customers over the years have become friends. My father. A fine builder of homes for many years enjoyed repeat business from the same clients. On several occasions he built their first home for them, and later on, as their needs changed, they came back to have him build a second home for them. In at least one case, he was building homes for the next generation of the same family. Why? Because my father believed in giving people value for money. Because he was, and still is, a completely honest man. He was never the cheapest, but he always endeavored to be the best he could be. Most people spend so much time selling to their prospects that they forget what networking is all about. The thing that makes this industry different from any other is that it is all about relationships and community. This proves to be hard for many people to adjust their minds to dot. If you want to know why a person is looking for an opportunity, just ask them. Don't you think it makes sense? They are the best person to tell you what they are looking for and what they consider important to them. In fact, you might say that questions are the answer, because every time you ask your prospect a question you are inviting them to share with you, you are building rapport. This works both ways. By inviting your prospect to ask questions in return, you are given an opportunity to build rapport and trust, so ask questions. Did you really think that networking was just about pitching your product and not communicating? Did you just want people to click on your squeeze page and order from you? Here is some advice either change your mind or change your business. IT isn't always about the money.